Right, so uh, my kids were asleep, two of them, the eldest ones at work, uh, wife's at the allotment, dog's asleep, uh, must be time to do another review, uh, Ballerina 2017, <laughs> it's, uh, God, I picked these films, it's directed by a guy called Steve Pullen, uh, he plays the main role, he's written by uh, Steve Pullen, he uh, has written it, he's directed it, he's produced it, uh, he's never been in anything before, so it's kind of like a labour alarm, it's like, I'm assuming, his, uh, what it is, his first film, fair enough, it's, it's billed as a southern gothic horror, make of that what you will, uh, it's basically the story of a guy who, uh, through a series of events, serious through a series of events, uh, finds himself and his young daughter, uh, played by his real life daughter, uh, living in a in a homeless camp in some woods, uh, having uh, they've suffered a loss, uh, and they've lost like his wife, who is played by his real life wife, and his two sons. Played by his two real life sons, uh, it's almost as if there's no one without the surname Bullen in this film, uh, and it's 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 fucking ass gravy. Basically, uh, they set out there's uh, this 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 plot that they got the the father and and the daughter living in the woods. They show you a flashback. Something happens. He's taken her to a dance competition. They stop en route in the woods, as you do. He goes off and says, stay in the car. Things happen. Next thing you know, they're living in the woods. Uh, in uh, loads of homeless people. We'll call it Boxford Street, because they're living in boxes. Uh, they're living in these, in yeah, it's basically. Uh, the only notable actor, actress in it, is, uh, can't for the life of me remember her name now, uh, Plays Gibby's mum in iCarly, so some real headliners there. Uh, who is the love interest for uh, the the main actor, producer, director, writer, Steve Pullen. Uh, and it's built, the film's built as Southern Gothic Horror. It's supposed to pull on the heartstrings. It's supposed to uh, leave a warm feeling inside. Yeah, it just made me want it to vomit, to be honest with you. It's uh ah, oh, it's like I was saying about hereditary and muck. Muck knows it's shit. Uh because it is. But this goes down the same vein of hereditary of trying to be a bit arty, trying to be a bit different and it's it's awful. The the, the main plot, the main hook, when it's revealed you know what's going to happen because it's so badly telegraphed. It's like your mum writing a letter to the PE teacher. It's, you get it in advance. It's, yeah, it's awful, awful, awful film. The special effects and the scares, <laughs> the scares when they come, are some girl guides who kind of glow green. Like the fucking Ready Brett kid. It's like the fucking Ready Brett kid set in fucking Chernobyl. What the fuck is going on with people making films? It's like, it really fucking annoys me. The plot is shit. Uh, fucking fly just landed on me. Great. The plot is shit. The fucking, uh, the casting is diabolical. It's, he's cast every, every fucking member of his family in it. Even, even at the end when the big reveal which we know is coming, because uh, they're so, so, badly, so badly telegraphed. When the big reveal is revealed, instead of showing us what happened, we are told by another character who suddenly appears in the like final quarter of the film, uh, who is the ghost of the main character's dad. Who, and this is going to shock you, is played... By the main actor, director, producer, writer, probably does the fucking soundtrack. He's played by his real fucking dad. What the fuck? It's like, 
it's it's fucking unbelievable. It, but it's it's awful. The film is awful. Drama kind of likes it and goes, oh well, it wasn't that bad, you know. Uh, but she's with me, so her taste is dubious at best. Uh, it is another another film to avoid. It really, really uh, takes the biscuit and shits on it, and then I don't know what, but it's just awful. Given the choice of hereditary or ballerina. Oh god, that's that's a fucking tough one. I would go. <laughs> I'd rather watch Muck than either of them. A muck is fucking ass gravy. It really is. But yeah, so ballerina 2017. Uh, I'd never tell anyone not to watch a film based on my my views of it. But don't blame me if you do. Later.